Bonjour, bonjour. Welcome back to a YouTube video. I usually never film videos sat down, but we're throwing it back today. It's Bethany Motor Days. I'm a little bit late with this, um, but here is a what I got for Christmas. Disclaimer before we get started. I am in no way, shape or form bragging. That was like the, the phrase, wasn't it? You go back to any what I got for Christmas and within like the first 15 seconds in 2013, they will say that word for word. I'm nosy. I'm a nosy gal. I love to see what everyone's got. And I'm not, I never watch these videos and think, oh my God, you're like proper bragging. I love seeing what people get. I'm obsessed with it. So yeah, I don't think that of other people and I hope you don't think that of me. And if you do, that's your problem. <laughs> I got so many nice bits from everyone in my life that I love and I also got them so many nice bits as well and I'm very grateful and the brands that I work for that send me stuff and that is what I'm gonna start on right now. This first one I did just unbox on my TikTok, that's why it looks like this. This is from Bonnie Dolly Cosmetics, I'm sure you'll have heard of them on TikTok. Sophie that owns it, she put in a nice little card saying Merry Christmas Lose. Can't wait for you to use a minx pen, love you always Sophie, love Sophie so much. She sent this cute little powder puff. Um, she sent some lashes and two mink pens. So she sells these, and I'm gonna link my TikTok that I filmed below for you all to see because these will be linked on that TikTok. But she sells these, right? Basically, they're like eyelash glue pens. So this one's a pen and an eyeliner, and then this one's just a normal like lash glue. Thank you, Sophie. Mwah, I love you. I was not expecting this, and I was so happy when I opened this because I love White Fox Boutique so much. And when I was younger, it was always a goal for me in this job to like receive PR like around Christmas time and like around my birthday and oh, I'm just so excited about it. So they sent this out with a little note in saying happy holidays Lucy, thank you for all your support this year and we hope you have an amazing Christmas season. Lots of love, your White Fox fam. Mwah. And then in the little White Fox box we've got this big ass water bottle. Um, It's like a baby pink, I love that. And then a pink cosmetic bag, oh my god. Then, to save the best to last, pyjamas. I had my eye on these for a long time on White Fox Boutique and I absolutely lo Oh my god! They've got my name on them! What? Oh my god, I didn't even know that. See, that kind of shit, like, oh my god, it gets me so excited. Oh, that's so cute, because it just adds that little, like, personal touch. Thank you. Mwah. On to my bestie um, and her daughters. So this is the first thing. This is a candle. This goes perfect with my aesthetic of my room, right? It's just, it's really, like, neutral, and I just think it's so pretty, and it smells amazing. It's such a gorgeous scent. It's, like, like a spa, and it's got this little wooden, like, grey wooden uh, lid with the flowers on. There is no way on this earth that I would chuck that away. Who is chucking that away when they're done with it? You wash it out and you put like jewellery in it or something. I just love that smell and it's such a nice candle. So she got me that and then she got me these because on the day that we were shopping I was like oh I need to get on with some bits from Molten Brown but then I forgot to get them. And she's like oh why? And I was like because it literally smells amazing like Molten Brown shower gel. It just leaves its scent on you forever. So she went and got me some. She got um, a little shower gel which is a glitter one and then she got me a purifying shampoo and honestly I didn't even know they did shampoo but that is such a good find because the shower gel is that good the shampoo is going to last in your hair forever and then the last thing that she got was a little lush gift set this was like wrapped really cute um obviously i ripped it all open because i was dying to look at it um so it's got like this little bath bomb it's like a glitter gold and blue bath bomb um a date uh shower gel so it's got date syrup in it a little orange reindeer bath bomb and then dream cream body lotion i've always wanted to try some i've never had like a lotion from um lush so i'm excited about that so mwah, thank you for that girl now moving on to my brother he got me the essentials right i was buzzing with this he got me dark fake tan a mitt and some french tip nails that is so good for my brother one year he bought burgers in a can Obviously, it's a joke, but still, so that's so good for it. Now, moving on to my mom and my dad. Obviously, these, honestly, there's not a year that goes by where someone doesn't get me these chocolates. Like, I love these chocolates. Um, they're like the little seahorses. They're just so yummy. So, yeah, get them, and I just scran them all. I've got such a sweet tooth. Like, I just love chocolate. But I also love savoury. I was scoffing these last night when I was watching TikTok. 
Um, they did get me a thingy as well, selection box. Yeah, they got me one of them. And I love them. Oh my god, so, got me these, right? So these are some pyjama bottoms. And this massive, cute, printed, fuzzy, zip-up jumper with a hood on it. I slept in it the other night. I was red hot in it, but I like to be red hot when it's freezing and you shove this on, you feel so good. So yeah, this is just such a cute little set. Honestly, I love it. Love pyjama sets. I'm so excited. Um, my mum got me this diffuser. I think, yeah, this is from Next. She bought two for downstairs. Um, and they just smell amazing. It's massive and it's pretty as well. Um, it lasts up to 20 weeks. So, yeah. I can't believe it. I'm 20, right? And I'm getting excited over a fucking diffuser. And I'm also getting excited over this. Fresh new bedding, which is so pretty. Spilt some coffee on it. What an idiot. Um, but it's fine. Um, it's fine. Just wash it. I get excited over this kind of shit. I love it. Um, especially things like this. So, this is like a really good quality fat. Bad. And it's got like some fake roses in with some like leafy shit. I don't know what it is, but that is so pretty. Again, oh my god, that would go so well with that candle. Look, oh my god, my room's gonna have a glow up for 2024. I love roses as well. Like, I absolutely love white roses. Oh my god, that only found cocoa then. I fucking hell. White roses are beautiful, and I'll always, always tell my mum, Mum, buy white roses for the living room. They're just so pretty. Um, Oh my god, I'm so excited about these. I genuinely, yeah, I am into astrology so much. And like all my friends that are boys, main, mainly boys, laugh at me. They're like, oh my god, like, why are you so obsessed with that? You actually believe in it? And I do. Because it's so crazy how many people I meet that are the same, like, star sign, like, that I know of. Like, I remember everyone's star sign that I've ever met. Like, everyone's. I guess people's correctly all the time. Like, I was watching a video today on my TikTok of, is it Louis Tomlinson? This in, it was in One Direction. I made it, I was like, he is a Capricorn. I know it, he's a Capricorn. He's a Capricorn! His birthday is the 24th of December. I was like, how? I was watching a video of Tom Hardy. I was like, he is a Virgo. I feel it, he's a Virgo. Virgo! I was in Manchester on a night out and there was this man behind the bar. And I said, you're a Virgo, aren't you? He was like, what? How did you know that? I don't know. It just never ends, literally. I was on a night out like five months ago and I was in this little cocktail bar. My friend got speaking to this last and I just, mid-conversation, yeah, they were talking about something like about her work and I just stopped and said, are you a Scorpio? She was like, yeah. <laughs> and all my friends were like, what? Like, I'm so, and she got her idea. She was like, yes, 5th of November. I'm just heavily into it. I, I always have a good intuition about a lot of things. Like, I just always have a good judgment of people. I always have a really good intuition. Um, I can always weigh people up well. If something's gonna happen, I feel it before it happens. I call it before it happens. I'll have a dream about something and then it'll happen when I wake up. Crazy. And there's so many things that I could say. There's so much that I could tell you all about, but no one gives a shit. So anyway, yeah, my mum got me these. Um, be your own astrologer. Um, I am. I literally read everyone's birth charts and it's so right. It basically shows you what you're going to do in your career, how you're going to meet your husband, things like that, what they're going to be into and all that shit. My career is in the first house, which is all about your appearance, yourself, your personality, things like that. Like you as a person. Yourself will make your money. Me sat making YouTube videos and going on shoots or like doing TikToks, it's all me. It's all about me. It's all about me, which is so true. That is how my career is. I won't get into it all, but it is crazy. Um, and I would definitely recommend reading your own birth chart. And then in this book, you can see like who's got your birthday. Like I share the same birthday as Ozzy Osbourne. Britney Spears is born a day before me. Jay Z is born the day after me. It's all super crazy. Oh my god, that just said moon in Pisces. So I'm a Sagittarius with my moon in Pisces, right? I've only ever had two boyfriends, right? One of them's a Virgo, one of them's a Pisces. The Virgo has a moon and a Sagittarius. Like, we get on so well. There's only two boys I have ever felt so comfortable around and, like, got on with, like, clicked with so well. I had the best connection. Sagittarius moon, I'm a Sagittarius sun. And then the other one was a Pisces. I've got a Pisces moon. They always say that if your moon matches their sun or their moon matches your sun, you just have that instant, like, click, bond with someone. You have, like, an instant connection. And I did with both both those people. And it, that's just so crazy to me. So go check your moon and see if it matches up. There's so much that you can find out with astrology. It's actually crazy, and I believe it all because it makes so much sense to me. It, like, resonates with my life decisions. Moving on. My mum got me this little, um, LED 
a compact mirror so I need to charge it up but basically it's like this little mirror that um, is a light. They also got me some socks, some fluffy socks, love these. And then, oh my god, this smell to me sounds like a One Direction little things, like that's the era. And that was my Tumblr song and um, that reminds me of them days, like just not a single care in the world, it's sports day, it's summer, you've got like pink dip dyed hair, oh my god, I just miss it so bad, like that was the time of my life and that's why I forever will burn this, like I'll always burn pink sands, when I get a house of my own I'll just burn it, not the house, so excited about this. Paco Rabanne Lady Million, my favourite perfume, my go to perfume, I've worn this for years now, I literally have got it pretty much every Christmas. Like, I'll be like 60 and I'll still be wearing that. Okay, this one's really cute. This one is adorable. Oh, it's just so cute, I'm gonna put it on my keys. So, this is a little um, personalized key ring and it's got cocoa on it. How cute! And then on the back it's engraved and it says, Lucy drive safely, love you, uh, Mum, Dad, Alan, Coco. Shit like that triggers some like panic in me. Like, oh my God, no, I'm scared. I got Urban Decay. All nighter setting spray. I love this setting spray. It's so good. So we got it. We got it. Um, which I'm very grateful for. And then look at this. This is a cocoa pops, uh, like ball mug with a little cocoa pops thing in. Um, it's like all of the retro old designs of cocoa pops and the spoon. My mum had spotted this and got me it because I love like eating cereal out of it. A, like bug mall thing. What? Bug mall? Mug ball? Mug ball? I like big mugs um, and I cannot laugh. Oh my god I was buzzing with this as well. Obviously now I've got a car. I mean saying that I've been driving literally over a year. I just love little presents like that. It's a Lady Million scented car thing so when I do my little clean of my car for new year, new fresh car, I'm gonna put that in there because that is amazing. Then they got me a little robe, a little dressing gown, which I love. I love a new dressing gown, love new pyjamas, I'm just obsessed with everything. Um, The colour of this is so nice and it feels amazing too. A little beanie hat because, I don't know, I like hats and they don't like me. Sometimes you always need a little hat when it's cold out, you know. Love this so much. I don't know if I trust myself with a normal candle in it, but it's like this little lantern like that and you put oh that was cringe oh my god i hate that why would i put that in there you put a little candle in there anyway um but yeah i think i will, I will probably go for a fake candle you're even thinking what is that what is that sound um, oh my god, there's so many cute bits in my room, which I'm so happy about. Um, then my mum got me this little book. I'm a stationery freak, like I love stationery. Um, oh my god, what shall I write in it? My goals for 2024. Get a fat ass. 100,000 subscriber. 300k on Take to work. Uh, and then some little tea lights. I'm always taking my mum's tea lights. I love tea light candles. Um, for my little wax melt. And then, I was not expecting this at all. These presents are more than enough. Like, absolutely more than enough. And they get a card, and they give a hundred pound cash and a hundred pound paramount voucher, which I was like, whoa. I am literally so grateful for this. So I was so grateful for that. And then obviously, you know, Ball. The twenty pound of my grandma as well actually is in there, so hundred and twenty and um hundred pound voucher. Merry Christmas to our darling daughter. Have a good spend. Love you, Mum, Dad, and Coco. That is super cute. That is everything that I got for Christmas, twenty twenty four. I am so so grateful. This sounds so cliche, right? But genuinely, the most important thing to me, to you, to anyone, is just health and family that is it that is all that matters to me is just 
my family being happy, being happy. I'm not trying to be soppy and like, oh my God, she's such a fucking pick me. Um, but it genuinely is. The best things in life are actually free. And I know them pajamas are good and they look comfy, but I promise you the best things in life, you cannot put a price on them. Money and things does not matter. Money cannot buy genuine love and happiness. So yeah, um, I hope you all had a great Christmas. Happy New Year to you all. And I will see you on my next video, which is hopefully a weekly vlog. My New Year's resolution is to start filming more weekly vlogs. So that's what I'm gonna do. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I love you all. Mwah. Au revoir.